All right, so if you're a console player and you've played Chapter 4, you may have noticed something was a bit off with your aiming, and it's been driving me crazy. So not to toot my own horn or anything, but I pride myself on almost perfect accuracy. When people watch my gameplay, they always say, wow, you have such great aim on controller. Now, of course, PC players watching would say, wow, nice aim assist. But obviously, aim assist only gets you so far. So anyway, the first day of the season, I noticed it immediately. Just from playing last season, I knew something was off. So I tweeted out right away, and this is what I tweeted. I said, anyone else's aim feel a little different on console? I don't see any changes to my settings, but something feels off for some reason. So the tweet itself got 2,795 likes and a billion replies, and most people agreed that something wasn't right. However, a few people said their aim was actually better than last season, so I don't know what was going on with those guys, but for the majority, the replies were very similar. A lot of people said it felt like their aim is not working right, or there's zero aim assist, or aim assist got nerfed, and I felt the exact same way. But like I said, it's not always about aim assist. I think I've won 10 plus matches already with hardly any aim assist because of this glitch. And that apparently is what it is, some kind of big glitch on console. And it's really affecting aim assist. So luckily there appears to be a workaround to this glitch. So I first got wind of this from my friend Botted FPS. I was playing with him and my friend Long John's last night and he said, hey, Tabor, did you hear about this? I know you play on controller. And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, well, if you change a few settings, your aim should be better, especially with the scar. And again, I was like, what are you talking about? So he told me what to do and I did it. And I noticed a little bit of a difference, but for most people that have been doing this, they say it's day and night difference. It's tremendous. It's back to how it was. So I think it also matters what setting you have on. There's two different settings, exponential and linear, but I'll show you all that in just a second. Okay, so just in case you don't know how aim assist works. So I triggered this NPC, so watch this. It'll slow down right when I get to her. I'm not doing that. That's just boop right there. It's just automatic. Normal, normal, slow, normal, normal, slow. So that's how it works. Same thing with this, slows down. It's not as noticeable with this AR. But as you cycle between, it just slows down right when you aim. But it's really noticeable on the shotguns. Zoop, right there. Zoop. So that helps you stay on target. Like right here, I can, I can barely move because the aim assist is so strong. It's tugging right here. Whereas over here, look how fast I can move. I'm just doing a full 360 and then again, super slow because of the aim assist. Super fast. All right, chill. Chill, chill, chill. So if you come to your settings, let's click on this. And then you go over three from the left. So not the computer screen that says video, not the gear that says game, but this one right here that says game UI. So they added a brand new section here called reticle and damage feedback. So obviously you want the reticle on. That is the thing in the middle of your screen right there. You want the reticle ammo indicator on. That'll just show you how much ammo you have when you aim down sights. But these are the new things. So let me reset these and show you what they look like. So by default, the damage numbers is on cumulative and the reticle damage feedback is on hit only. Okay, so let me show you what that looks like. So if I shoot this NPC, it's gonna tally up all the damage and show me that. So I'm gonna shoot her a few times here, watch this. So I hit her twice and it added the damage up to 72. Did you see that? Okay, so now let me put it on list. So now as I hit her, it's going to list the damage in a row. It doesn't add it all together. Let me run back a minute so she doesn't kill me here. Now as for the reticle damage feedback, this will show you if you damage their shield or white health. So let me just put this on. I think this throws a lot of people off. So I'm going to shoot her again. Watch this. You can see that it said shield there. Do you see the little indicator right there? And let me turn her to no shield if I can. Geez, she's got a lot of shield. There, she's cracked. There, now there's no shield indicator. But let me show you something. So look at this. There's no slowdown anymore because my aim assist has been 100% disabled. Clear as day. I'm not getting any tug. I'm just whipping back and forth like I was over here with no aim assist. Can she find me in here? 
Don't do it. I'm not in here. Chill. Chill. Okay. Oh, God. Did she find me in the bush? Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, I'm trying to explain something here. Chill. So for some reason, if you have it on cumulative and anything other than off for this one, sometimes your aim assist will just shut off completely from what I've seen and what I've been told. So make sure this is on list and make sure this one is on off. And then of course go to apply and you should get your aim assist back and you shouldn't have this error anymore. So if you come to your controller options here, you're either on linear or exponential. Now, some people are saying maybe this only works on exponential and that linear, it won't work. But I did notice a lot of improvement after I did this on linear, and that's what I use. But most people use exponential. So just give this a try. It wouldn't hurt anything. But if you're having trouble with your aim or something feels off, change the damage numbers to list and put the reticle damage feedback to off. See if that helps. It may not help everyone, but everyone I've talked to said it does work. They did notice a difference. And like I said, I did notice a lot of difference as soon as I activated it, but you're mostly gonna notice it with the scar and this red eye assault rifle. But I could tell right away, the first match I played, something wasn't right. I was just all over the place with my aim. I couldn't focus on one guy. Without that tug that just slows it down right when you're on point, it's kind of hard because then you're like, oh, I'm all over the place. I can't, there's no tug to hold me still and, and help me hit my shots but you need that on controller. I know a lot of people complain aim assist is overpowered and it should be in the game, but when you're using a controller joystick to try and aim, it's so hard to get pinpoint accuracy and that's why aim assist exists in the first place. With a mouse, you're super precise with that thing. You can aim it right on the head and click. With an analog joystick, it's so hard to get it right where you want it and that is why aim assist is in the game in the first place. So basically, to sum it up, some of you may have been playing without aim assist entirely, or at least for the majority of your matches. So try these settings, hopefully it works. If it does, let me know in the comments. If it doesn't, and you found another workaround, let me know. I haven't seen Epic Games acknowledge this yet, so who knows if it's real. Maybe this is all placebo effect and we're all crazy, but something just doesn't feel right with my aim. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code which is Tabor time.